Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here. Today we're going to be talking about what beats Attila Takeda. How to do it, what combination of commanders that you need, and finally what else needs to go right for you to be successful and get a report like this where it was an even matchup from a numbers perspective but we ended up trading fairly evenly to a report like this where you're taking double, triple, quadruple, ten times the dead versus an Attila rally. This is the difference, and these are the same commanding, commander pairings, so it's not just commander pairings that does it. We're going to go over the actual defensive pairs that work, and then again, what else you need to do to make sure that you get the right report after you get rallied by Attila Takeda, because that is by far the harshest and most devastating rally in this game. So keep watching if you want to get all that information. Here we go. We're going to dive right into it. First off, let's talk about pairings. So again, as you can see on the report here, I've got Charles and Constantine, garrison spec with defense spec, full infantry inside of this flag against Attila Takeda with full cav. Again, as you can see, a fairly even trade-off from a numbers perspective. The power trade-off is a little bit in their favor. But again, I think anybody getting rallied by an Attila Takeda rally would take this report 100 times out of 100. This means that you're doing an even trade against one of the biggest and baddest rallying groups in the game. So you want to have this. So this is a good pairing. Charles Constantine, probably one of the best pairings against this rally. Other pairing that works equally as effectively as Sun Tzu YSG. Uh, even though Sun Tzu is an epic commander, he is very, very good at defending structures because of a couple of his skills that help rage, uh, regenerate rage, that give you defense against normal troop damage, which is exactly what Attila Takeda does best, and then also um, does extra skill damage. Even though they have skill damage reduction, it's not enough to overpower a Sun Tzu and a YSG. You start mowing through them very quickly. Other really good pairing, is Charles Wu, although it's not as good as the first two, it is serviceable. Um, I've seen pretty good trades with those two, but not quite as good as Charles Constantine and Sun Tzu YSG. And then finally, um, even though they're not garrison commanders, Attila Takeda against Attila Takeda is actually really good. Make sure you have full cav. Same thing with Saladin Takeda. Saladin Takeda actually does really well against Attila Takeda. Again, I think the, the thing you need to understand here is in the Attila Takeda combination, Attila is the damage, Takeda is the defense with the healing. Okay, so you need to see, understand that's how that pairing works. That's why it works so well together because they have the best of both worlds in one rally. Same thing for your defense. If you have a Saladin, that's your defense slash damage and then Takeda is your extra defense so you've got double defense with some extra damage and utility that's why Saladin and Takeda works again the best combinations are full infantry or full cav you cannot use archers inside of a garrison against Attila Takeda it will get destroyed that's why YS, uh, Wu YSG, Wu Constantine, Wu Charles, Wu anything does not work, and I'll show you some reports on what that looks like as well. But first, let's go into what you what else you need to do to make sure that your report looks like this and not this, okay? So you've got the pairings down. You know what you need to use. Again, for the infantry-based um, setups, you need to make sure you go full into garrison as far as going to Kingsguard and making sure you get impregnable at the top and then go over into the defensive tree and get as many defensive things as you can. I've got garrison videos up if you want to check out those builds. With the Saladin Takeda and Attila Takeda, again, you want to go um, as much into Cav as possible. And then you also want to go into support tree for Saladin. And you want to go into attack tree for Attila. Again, I've got those builds up as well. But what needs to happen outside of the pairings for you to be successful? First off, you need to own the open field. And really, this is the main benefit or the main idea behind all the things that I'm about to list. You need to own the open field around the structure. If you don't own the open field, you can't do the following. You can't kill the rally reinforcements that are coming in to reinforce the Attila Takeda rally. That's a big thing. You also need to make sure that you're able to reinforce your structure. You need to keep it topped off. If you don't keep it topped off, you will have a report like this. 
this is exactly what happened. I had the debuff going, which is the next piece. I had the commander's right. I had everything set, but we didn't have the open field owned, which means that we could not reinforce our structure. So that's why I took two to one dead instead of one to one dead. Okay. And then again, the third piece, I kind of hinted at it a second ago, you need to be able to debuff the rally. Now, ideally, you want to counter, counter rally it with a nuking group to cause maximum damage to Attila Takeda and then use a single, a set of single armies of Ethelfled Barca, of Ethelfled Belisarius, of any combination of debuffing commanders. Saladin Takeda is a really good thing to use against him. The combination of all those is really, really good. You want to be able to use as many debuffs as possible because, again, to Attila Takeda is so devastating, you need to debuff as much as possible so that you limit the amount of dead that you take. You're going to take dead against Attila Takeda. There's no way around it. If it hits, it's going to cause some damage. Your job is minimizing that, and the best way to do that, again, just to recap, you want to kill the rally reinforcements so that they can't keep the rally topped off. You want to make sure you own the open field so that you can go and, and reinforce your own structure you need to make sure that you have um, that structure topped off with the right troops all the time, all the time. You can't let one army size go by and not reinforce that structure. If you do, especially if the rally is getting reinforced too, you will start taking very, very bad trades. And then again, counter, counter rally the Attila Takeda rally, ideally with a nuking group, and then use single armies to debuff the, the, the rally. If you can't do that, you can use Attila Barca or, I'm sorry, not Attila Barca, Ethelfled Barca, any combination of rallying, uh, of debuff commanders, and use that as your rally to keep the army debuffed longer. But again, you need to take this thing down as quickly as possible while also taking the, the least amount of dead as possible. That's where the nuking comes into play. That's why a Genghis Saladin would work here, a Saladin Takeda would work here. Something like that in the rally is what is best. So again, what happens whenever you don't do those things that I just described? So that means you're 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 going to take a rally with a YS, a Wu YSG or something to that effect. So let's see here. Oh, here's a good one. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you you use Wu Charles and versus Charles Wu. And again, this was a combination of um, I don't know if it's gonna, it's not going to let me see the troops because it's uh, older, but this was a combination of multiple mixed troop types, and that's the benefit of using Wu Primary. You can kind of use whatever you want. Um, this was a fairly well reinforced, um, a fairly well, re fair, fairly well reinforced pass. Um, as you can see, the slightly wounded count is 3.1 million. The severely wounded count is 1.1 million, but the dead count is 1.2 million. Versus, um, again, same same type of starting point. Um, versus 300k dead, 300k severely wounded, and 1.2 slightly wounded. So you can see the difference. This was a properly reinforced pass. Again, we couldn't go and kill their reinforcements because they were on the other side of the pass. So we had to plow through this. Had they had a Charles Constantine or a Sun Tzu YSG with full infantry being reinforced all the time, we would have taken a significantly worse trade. But because they used Wu primary, Wu is not built to take on Attila Takeda. He is built to take on, or she is built to take on nuking rallies like Edward Tamiris, Saladin Genghis, Genghis Saladin. Those types of rallies is what Wu primary is made for. With Attila Takeda, I've already told you, you need to have um, a, a good combination of the infantry commanders I listed earlier, or fight fire with fire and use Attila Takeda or Saladin Takeda to defend against an Attila Takeda rally. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to make this got this fairly short. I don't want this to be drug, drug out too long because I don't want you to have to um, go through 20 minutes of video to get the content. I'm going to edit it as well. I've also got the archery rank and roll guide coming out soon as well. Um, tons of new content coming to the channel. If you have not done so already, please hit subscribe hit the like button and hit the bell notification so you get videos like this popping up in your notification window every time I put them up. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care. Need reinforcements for the Shrine of War on green side as well.